Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. I have some great products from Bindle Bottle. They sent me out a few things. You might have seen it in my haul video, one of my weekly haul videos. Well, today it's time to actually test them out and see how they perform. So let's get them out of the box here, take a look at them, and then try them out. And here we go. All right, let's go ahead and get these out of the box here and take a look at them. So let's see here. Let's uh, open this up and see what we have. And there's gonna be one here. And this one, if I remember correctly, is, yep, the coffee mug. Look at that. This is our coffee tumbler, I should say. Not a mug, this is a tumbler. A mug would have a handle on it right here. So yeah, but we can see right here that it comes with a lid and you can see there it has a little slider on there so that you can uh, so you can drink right through there. It's kind of slick and it's actually clear so you can see down in there if you want to. So this is very, very nice. And this does come off. It has a little lip right there so that you can get a handle on it and then pull it right off. And there are rubber gaskets on there so that it stays nice and firm and secure in there. So, and then we can see this is all double walled um, insulated so that uh, everything's gonna stay nice and hot or nice and cool. And on top of that, it makes it so that the, uh, the actual outside of it is cool to the touch when you, uh, when, you're have, when you have hot stuff in there or when you have cold stuff, you don't get condensation on the outside of your, of your uh, tumbler here. So let's set that right there. I don't think there's anything in there. Nope. And uh, let's see here. And let's see if there's anything in here. Nope, nothing in there. So we'll toss that off. And then we have one other bottle here. And this one here is the Sip and Stash. This is the Bindle Sip and Stash. This is a 24 ounce one or 710 milliliters. And we can see here it has a nice handle on there so that we can uh, hold this like that or attach it to something. This part is really nice. This part is actually rubber. So it actually helps you get a really nice grip on there. Some of you may uh, have had bottles in the past where you've actually tightened it down too much or it expanded because of the heat or the cold or something and it's hard to get off. This rubber handle will really help that. So we can see right here, it has a nice wide mouth opening so you can put ice cubes in there or just uh, put whatever you want in there. And yeah, so let's go ahead and put that in and uh, put that lid back on. Now on the bottom here is nice because this is where you have the stash part and this unscrews and we'll see right here, we have a second compartment right there. And this is where you can put all kinds of stuff in there. So yeah, um, they show in the advertisement that there's actually uh, people that put stuff in there like nuts and whatnot. So you can have maybe your, you know, your water or your juice or whatever on the top. And then you can put some, you know, some cashews or some almonds or something there on the bottom. I like the idea of maybe being able to put something in there like your keys or money or something. So if you're going to the beach and you um, and you have your stuff, you know, your uh, private stuff, maybe you want to go in the water, most people aren't going to come by and steal your towel and your water bottle, but they will steal your wallet and your cash. And so having something like this where you can actually put, you know, your ID or your cash or whatever inside here, is a great way to sort of hide it right there in plain sight so you don't have to worry about your stuff getting stolen. So yeah, all right. Well, both of these devices are insulated and they're supposed to help keep your, uh, your liquids both hot and cold over a period of time. And so I'm gonna test them both out and see how they do and compare to say a just traditional random non-insulated water bottle or, uh, or tumbler. So, Let's go ahead and get some uh, hot liquids and cold liquids and see how they do. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed a couple of different bottles here. I have just this regular old uh, tumbler here. It's not insulated. I think this was just like a promotional thing, but it does have a lid on here. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and put some uh, hot water in here and see how it holds up over time compared to the, uh, the Bindle uh, tumbler here. So let's go ahead and open this up. And also, I went and put some uh, cold water in here. I put 15 ice cubes in, uh, in this water bottle here. And then I also put 15, water uh, 15 ice cubes in, this, uh, in the Bindle Sip and Stash. And I, put, uh, and I put water in both of them, about the same amount of water in both of them there. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and, um, and put some hot water in here. And then we're gonna check the temperature 
of, uh, of each of these and we're gonna wait about 15 minutes and see what the temperature change is on each of these. I can tell you already on this one here that there's already condensation building up on there. So there's already uh, temperature, there's already uh, escape, you know, the, some of the cold is already escaping there. So, all right, let's go ahead and um, just to be fair, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the bindle up first here because well, this is uh, this one's insulated, so it should hold the hot the the hot temperature longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one in there. I'm gonna fill it up to about that little lip right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there. And there we go. I'm gonna set that right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the non-insulated one, and we will go ahead and put this one, uh, fill this up there, and there we go. All right, now let's put the lid on this one here. Oh, you know what? Before I do that. Let's uh, let's take the temperature on both of them first to make sure we get uh, we get a starting point and let's see if I can get that off gently. There we go. All right. So here we have my thermometer. Let's see what this is going to be on the uh, on the bindle uh, tumbler there and see it's it's rolling up there. There's some seriously hot water. Boy, look at that. It's up to 170, 180. This is some really hot scalding water right there, 190. This is definitely uh, too hot to serve at McDonald's. So <laughs> there we go. We are at 197. Uh, it looks like that's about where we're gonna be, around 197. All right, there we go. And we'll go ahead on to this one here. And this one's also, uh, this one you can see the temperature is already escaping quickly there. So it's at about 193. 190, yeah, it's it's 193. You can see how, how much the temperature escapes already just from that few moments of being in the cup. So, so we're at 193 and 197. So let's go ahead and put these in there. We'll put the lids back on both of these there. And I'm gonna wait like around 15 minutes for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a timer. And uh, oops, and let me get this timer going for 15 minutes. And I'm gonna come back in 15 minutes and check both of these. Now let's check the temperatures on these here. So um, let's see how these do. And <clears throat> let's put this in here and see what we're going to get. And we can see there that the temperature is dropping rapidly because this is some, uh, some cold water in there. And we are down to around the mid 60s there. It's still going so. I'm assuming this is probably gonna get to around 50 something and then it'll probably stall out, but let's just see where it gets to. So we're down to uh, 55 and yeah, it's, start, it's still, it's going down, but it's slowing down a lot. So it's around 54. Let's see if it's gonna, there we go. It's at 53. Let's see if it's gonna keep going. Yeah, it looks like it's down to 52. Yeah, it's still going, look at that. It's gonna keep going down a little bit more. So we'll see if we, we'll see where we get to. So it's not gonna be a freezing obviously cause it's, it's liquid still. So, but right now we are at about uh, 50. Let's see, is it gonna keep going? Yeah, it's still going. It might get down into the forties. There we go. It is at, uh, it's showing 40, it's still going, it's at 48 right now. And let's see, yeah, this thing is still going down. That's crazy. I would think that it maybe would drop a little bit faster since it's still going down, but it looks like it is, uh, yeah. All right, well, I'm just gonna let this go down for, for a few more moments and see how low it'll go. And then I'll test the, uh, I'll test the bindle. All right, it looks like it's stalled out about there at around, uh, it looks like, no, it's still going there. <laughs> it looked like it had stalled out around 45 but it's at 44 and yeah, it looks like it's stalled out right around 44 and it's, yeah. So, all right, 44, we'll call it 44. Let's go ahead and put the lid back on there and let's go ahead and, uh, and open up the, the bindle now, the bindle bottle, the sip and stash, and let's see what we are going to get in the sip and stash here. And we can see there that it's dropping and yeah, this is dropping rapidly. So <laughs> it's already beyond 44 and we can see how fast it's dropping. And that's in part because we don't have all that, uh, all that cool escaping. We don't have the temperature escaping out of the bottle. We don't have all that condensation. So it's, it's uh, able to hold the temperature uh, just a lot better. Even if the temperatures start off at the same, 
uh, the same uh, degrees, they should hold it a lot better. So we're at about we're at about 41, and it's about stalled out about 41. So all right, so there we go. I'm gonna leave all of these in here, and when I get to uh, when I get to the once this is finished, we're at about 11. Uh, 52. So these will be in here for 15 minutes. These will be in here for about, you know, actually a little bit longer because I actually put them in before we started. Um, but once all that's done, then we'll come back once the, the rest of the 15 minute timer is done. We're going to come back and we'll test it again and we'll see what the temperatures are at and how these uh, bindle, uh, the bindle tumbler and bindle bottle, uh, the sip and stash performed versus having a non insulated bottle. All right, so the uh, timer is just about up here. We can see, yep, there we go. It is just done right now. Let's go ahead and uh, test this first. So we'll go ahead and we'll test the, uh, we'll test the non-insulated coffee tumbler first. And let's see what it is. And I can feel right now, just by feeling the outside of this, it's really, really hot. So there's a lot of temperatures, a lot of heat escaping from this cup right here. But let's go ahead and see what we're going to get with this one first here. So let's see, we are at, uh, what, are we, what are we at right now? 130, 140, 150. Yeah, it's doing pretty well, I have to admit. Having the lid on there has helped it a lot. So it's at 160. Let's see if it's gonna keep on climbing up there. Yeah, I have to say, so far I'm actually, real, I'm pretty impressed by this. I mean, having the lid on there has helped keep a lot of that heat in here. So. Um, it looks like we're at about 166. It looks like that's where we're gonna be at. So, all right, 166 there. So we lost a, we lost quite a bit. I believe we started at around 193. So we've lost a, a considerable amount of heat there. Let's go ahead now with the bindle and see what we uh, and see what we lost on this one. And let me see if I can get this off there. So there we go. And let's put this in there and see what we are going to get with the bindle and we can see already it's jumping right up there. It is uh, 130, 140, 150, 60. That is just flying, it's at 170 something, 176, 178, 180. Wow, look at that. That is just, that is crazy. It is flying, That 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 is amazing. That really is amazing. So it looks like it's at 187 right now and 188 and it looks like over the course of about 15 minutes, it looks like it lost around nine degrees. So it is at 188. It started off at about 197. So it looks like we are around, uh, it looks like we've lost around nine degrees in that 15 minute period. So, all right, let me put this lid back on so I don't spill anything everywhere. I'm already sort of making a watery mess over here. All right, now let's see how this went for the uh, for the cold side here, and I'm assuming the cold side should be doing fairly well. Let's just go ahead and uh, see. We can we can already tell there's a lot of ice in here that's melted since then, uh, since we started this off, and we can see there the temperature is dropping rapidly, and uh, we are at about 83, 80. Let's see here, 79, 8. So it's it's still dropping there. We're gonna let this just go ahead and drop a little bit, and as it starts to level out, we'll see where we end up. All right, so it looks like it is slowing down right here, and we can see that it is around, uh, it's, it's just dipped down just below 50 degrees, and, or just uh, at 50 degrees. It's still, it's slowing really, really slow, so I'm gonna call this uh, 50 degrees right there, because it's going very, very slow. It may still drop just a little bit more, but I'm gonna call that 50 degrees right there, so it's lost. Uh, it's lost some of its cold, and we can see here again how much condensation is on there. So, um, and you can also notice on here how much ice is melted. There's just a lot of melted ice. It's just, uh, I mean, the ice cubes in there are very small at this point, which means over time, this is going to lose uh, even more heat. And uh, so let's go ahead and check the, uh, the Bindle sip and stash, and we'll set that over there. And we can already tell just by looking in there, there's a lot of bigger ice chunks in there. So let's go ahead and set this in there and uh, and see what this is going to do. And we can already tell, look how fast that's dropping. So yeah, that's, that's just, that is just going down really, really low. This is actually, I think it's going colder than when we actually started. I think we started this at like 44 and it's down to, uh, it's down to 40 
And if we just let it go right there, if we leave it in there for a few seconds, look at that, we're down to 39. So yeah, the ice has really helped cool that water down even more uh, now that we've given it some time to sit. And so, yeah, this is even colder than when we started. I mean, we're getting, we're getting 38 degrees right now. I think it will probably get down to 37. No, I'm gonna sell it to say about 38. It looks like it's hovering right around 38 degrees right there. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go back a little. So we'll call it 38. So it looks like not only did the Bindle bottle, <laughs> not only did this one uh, do better, the Sip and Stash, not only did it do better than the non-insulated bottle by, uh, by keeping its, its temperature cool, it actually got a little bit colder once it was sealed up and the ice melted a little bit and it was able to actually absorb the cold from the ice into the water. It seemed like the water became even a little bit colder inside the bottle than it did uh, originally. And it, it started off colder than the non-insulated bottle and it got colder over time. So now the, uh, now the the uh, tumbler here, the tumbler just is fantastic. That only lost like nine degrees temperature over like 15 minutes or something like that. So I'd imagine that oh, and compared to the non-insulated, which lost about 20 degrees. So, I mean, over time, if you're drinking coffee or tea or something like that, this is gonna do really, really nicely in order to keep your uh, your temperature so that you don't have a bunch of cold coffee or cold tea after just a few minutes of letting your cup sit. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is it. That is a look at two different Bindle bottles. We have the 24 ounce Sip and Stash, and this is in color Lemonade. We also have the 18 ounce Coffee Tumbler, and this one is in color Avocado. And both of these are fantastic. They're very, very effective, as we were able to see from the testing. They really do a wonderful job of holding temperatures of your liquids there. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna leave a link to both of these products down below in the video description so that you can check them out. I'm also gonna leave a link to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.